In the heart of the Honduran mountains, nestled amidst rolling hills and towering peaks, lay the village of Santa Elena. This quaint hamlet was home to a remarkable legacy, one that had been passed down through generations, the art of cultivating and roasting specialty coffee. Legend had it that the first coffee beans arrived in Santa Elena centuries ago, brought by a wandering monk who stumbled upon the fertile soil and ideal climate of the region. The locals, ever eager to learn and adapt, embraced the new crop with open arms, nurturing it with the same care and devotion they had always shown their land. As time went on, the coffee grown in Santa Elena gained a reputation for its exceptional quality, attracting connoisseurs and aficionados from far and wide. The beans, known for their rich aroma, complex flavors, and velvety texture, became a symbol of Honduran excellence. At the center of this coffee-growing tradition was the Ramirez family, renowned throughout the country for their dedication to producing the finest specialty coffee. Led by Don Miguel Ramirez, a third-generation coffee farmer, the family had spent decades honing their skills and perfecting their techniques, earning a reputation for consistently delivering an unparalleled coffee experience. One day, as Don Miguel was inspecting his coffee trees, he noticed something peculiar. Among the lush green leaves and vibrant red cherries, there were a few branches that bore beans of an unusual hue. Intrigued, he plucked a few and roasted them with the utmost care. To his delight, the beans yielded a coffee unlike any he had ever tasted before. It possessed a remarkable sweetness, with notes of ripe berries, dark chocolate, and a hint of caramel. The aroma filled the air with an intoxicating fragrance, promising an extraordinary sensory journey. Don Miguel knew he had stumbled upon something truly special, a coffee that had the potential to redefine the world's perception of Honduran coffee. He named it Café Milagro, the miracle coffee, and vowed to share its wonders with the world. News of Café Milagro spread like wildfire, piquing the interest of coffee enthusiasts and industry experts alike. From bustling coffee shops in the capital city of Tegucigalpa, to prestigious international competitions, Café Milagro captivated hearts and palates, earning accolades and awards for its exceptional quality. The Ramirez family, once known solely within the confines of Santa Elena, found themselves thrust into the spotlight. Café Milagro became a symbol of Honduran pride, a testament to the country's rich coffee heritage and the unwavering dedication of its people. As the demand for Café Milagro soared, the Ramirez family faced a difficult choice. They could have easily expanded their operations, sacrificing quality for quantity, but they remained true to their roots. Jin to Sogong Tai, Bing Xiong Chuan Tong Hongbei Fangfa, Chi Bao Mei Bao, Cafe Milagro, Do Da Dao Zui Gao Biao Dong. Their commitment paid off. Cafe Milagro continued to garner critical acclaim, becoming a sought after coffee in the world's most discerning coffee circles. Coffee connoisseurs and enthusiasts alike flocked to Santa Elena, eager to experience the magic of Café Milagro firsthand, immersing themselves in the culture and traditions of the village that had birthed this extraordinary coffee. And so, the legacy of Santa Elena and the Ramirez family lived on, a testament to the transformative power of a single cup of coffee. Café Milagro became a symbol of Honduran excellence, inspiring a new generation of coffee growers to pursue quality over quantity and ensuring that the rich coffee heritage of the country would continue to thrive for generations to come.